In this last clip of solving rational equations that are applications, I'd like to look specifically at problems that are involve proportions. They're much easier, actually, than, than the last couple that we've been doing. Um, so first of all, I'd like to take a look at this problem. Then I'm going to hypothesize or, or throw out some situations at you. Um, me, I like to walk. I've been hiking all, all, uh, all summer, last summer. Um, Pat walked 234 kilometers in 14 days. At this rate, we kind of have given you a rate. You could calculate my number of kilometers per day. You could take 234 and divide it by 14 and find out my number of kilometers per day. At this rate, how far would she walk in 42 days? I'd like to advocate you writing this as a proportion if I could. So if Pat walks 234 kilometers in 14 days, yes, you could turn that into a rate. That ratio, though, should be equal to some number of kilometers that she could walk in 42 days. So you see how I put kilometers here in the numerator and days in the denominator there? Then with my other piece of data and the thing I'm looking to find, which is x, how many kilometers in 42 days? I just have to be sure that if days is in the denominator, days is in the denominator here. And now I can set the cross products equal to one another. So right here, I have 14 times x equals 234 times 42. I'm going to grab my calculator. So the 234 times 42 is 98.28. And when I divide that by 14, I get that Pat can walk 702 kilometers in those 42 days. If she could walk you know, 234 kilometers, that seems reasonable too. That, that seems um, awfully good. Um, inappropriate. You know, I, I expect I'm practically 1428. Oh gosh, I didn't even realize it. Um, I'm tripling the number of days, so I have to triple the number of kilometers. Didn't realize that I, I had done something like that. Let me throw a, another one I, at you that I just kind of made up. I'm not going to write the story out. Let's say that I could um, seed my lawn. Let's see, what data do I want to use? I'm going to seed my lawn, and um, the Farm Bureau told me that I needed 50 ounces if I'm going to cover 3,000 square feet of lawn. They told me 50 ounces for 3,000 square feet of lawn. Well, my lawn's not just 3,000 square feet. It's 4,500 square feet. I took out a measuring wheel, tape measure, and I went and measured it. And I found out that my lawn was 4,500 square feet. So I'm kind of wondering how many ounces I need to buy at the Farm Bureau. So I'm going to set this product, the 3000X, equal to this product, 4500 times the 50. I probably should keep my units on these. Um, you know, sorry I didn't. Uh, let's see, 4500 times 50, I'm just going to do, just so I don't um, make a mistake in my head. So that's 225 with three zeros. And then I'm going to divide by 3,000. So the 225 divided by 3 actually is um, I'm going to need 75 ounces um, of grass seed. Again, kind of a, a simple proportion here that I had. I could have calculated my ounces per square foot, but that would have been a small number. Um, it's a little bit easier to set it up as a proportion. Finally, um, I even um, use this with triangles. Um, sometimes in my geometry courses with folks. Um, let's say that we had a tree that we wanted to chop down. And we don't know how tall that tree is. But the sun is in the sky one day, and the sun is causing a shadow for me, and I could measure that shadow with a tape measure. So I could stand right here from the center of the tree or the base of the tree, and I could measure that shadow to be, oh, I don't know, let's make it 52 feet is, um, is the length of the shadow of the tree. Well, 
I have somebody out there standing there helping me out. And that person is five foot, six inches tall. And that person's shadow, these are similar triangles because they're, they're side by side but not in each other's shadow. And let's have that person's shadow um, be three feet in length. So I have these two triangles. Um, I'm even gonna come over here and draw them a little bit easier to see. So I have a big triangle. They happen to have right angles because my lawn is flat. Um, but this is 52 feet and I wonder how tall the tree is. And then over here I have a little itty bitty triangle and um, the person is five foot six inches. So aren't they 5.5 feet tall? And their shadow is three feet. These similar triangles, their ratios of corresponding sides could be set equal to one another. There's all kinds of ways to say that. I could say this H is to 5.5 as the 52 is to the 3. So their tall sides, I could set those H is to 5.5. So their tall sides, as the, then if I went with the big triangle first, then I've got to put the 52 over here and the 3 over there. I could have written this as H over 52 equals 5.5 over 3. I could have written it that way as well. Um, I'm going to get here 3 times H equals 52 times 5.5. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 3 to find out the height of that tree. And so uh, 52 times the 5.5 is 286. And then when I divide that by 3, I find out that that tree, the height of that tree, is um, 95.3 feet. Pretty tall tree. I just made up these numbers as I was standing in front of the camera. So, um, But nonetheless, I can use, um, I can solve rational equations in the form of a proportion when I have similar triangles as well. So all kinds of proportion-related problems involving rational equations.